I play old school RuneScape, but I don't play a lot of old school RuneScape. I don't find myself playing on my main account especially just for a laugh these days. It's typically just to make a video and very occasionally do something in the game that I feel like doing that's not really related to a video. But there was one update that came out that I really, really, really wanted to do and it made me play RuneScape quite a lot. I found myself tabbing out and making sure I wasn't logged out and I was still playing the game as I was doing other stuff, things like that. It was one of those things that make me want to never log out. When I'm going to bed, it's like, oh, just one more, just one more time, one more time, and then I'll go to bed and I end up staying up an extra hour doing this thing because, because I wanted to. And that's not a very common thing for me. But do you know what is a common thing for me? Sponsor time. But Dicers, we don't want to see any sponsor. What? You don't want to see this? Or this? Or these? I whipped out Raid Shadow Legends on my phone to start recording stuff for this ad, but then I genuinely got sidetracked by just playing the game. I was supposed to be working, but I got sidetracked from the game because it's fun and it looks good. I logged in and there was a tournament going on. So I'd done the Dragon Dungeon a few times to get up there on the leaderboard. I'm second now, and after I'm done making this ad, I'm gonna get first place. This guy here, he's gonna get dethroned. I managed to get to stage 6 in the Dragon Dungeon before it started getting difficult, so I need to level up a few more characters and sacrifice their asses to make my good champions even better. Which is one thing I really like about the game, it's that nothing is useless, there's no junk, you might get a crap item from a dungeon or a crap champion from a shard, but you can sell the crap items for silver, which can be used to upgrade other items, and you can sacrifice the crap champs to make the good ones even better. And Raid doesn't get stale, they keep updating it with new content and quality of life stuff like champion fragments, which lets you collect pieces of champions to summon them instead of getting them from shards. And they've added a bazaar where you can get a lot of high-end items, and they've extended the daily login rewards to 270 days where you get free stuff, including champions, by just logging in. So get your hands on this free game by going to the video description and clicking on the special link. If you're a new player, you get 100,000 free silver, an energy refill, 10 mystery champion shards, and this free champion, Hexweaver. She's badass, and you'll get her for free. You'll also find extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days. Thanks, Raid, for sponsoring this video. Have you been able to guess what the update was, judging from the thumbnail? It was this update, the Grotesque Guardians update. But I didn't do much Grotesque Guardians. In fact, I'd done zero Grotesque Guardians. I didn't give a damn about the Grotesque Guardians. If you scroll down just a little bit, there's monkey backpacks. They updated the Apatola Jelly course. The more laps you had, the more monkey backpacks you unlock. But Dice, why do you care about this? Doing agility? That sounds boring. Well, if you haven't noticed already, I have the monkey on my back in every single video. Almost every single video. After you complete Monkey Madness 2, you search this crate at the crash site and you get a little monkey. You can equip it in your cape slot and you've got a little monkey companion. For whatever reason, I thought this was amazing, so I just made it my thing. It's my thing for my character, I have a cheeky little monkey on my back. And then Jagex goes ahead and makes it so I can have even more little monkeys on my back. Some of them are a little bit bigger and there's one with a giant hat, but that's pretty damn cool. I can have many monkeys on my back, although maybe not this one, this one's dead. It's kind of gross. <laughs> the idea to actually revitalize the Apatola Jelly Course with different monkey backpacks came from Reddit user Ruru Rupert. Thank you very much, Ruru Rupert, because I played the hell out of this. This is a genius idea, but his original idea was slightly different. Here it is here. So Rupert suggested that on the completion of Monkey Madness 2, you can take your basic monkey that you find at the crash site to the King of Monkeys, King of Woogie Woogie. King of Woo Woo... A Woo... A Woo Woogie. King of Woo Woogie. What? Anyway, this monkey, King Monkey, will thank the player for finding the lost monkey and inform the player that there are several other young monkeys that could benefit from learning about the outside world, provided that they show the necessary dexterity on the Apatola Agility course. And after a bunch of laps, he will allow the player to take monkeys with them on their adventures throughout Gelenor. Now, I think that sounds like a really cool way to introduce a way to get more monkey backpacks, but the way they actually done it, they introduced a new NPC called Boba Wu, who basically just flat out tells you, do the course and you can try transform your monkey. It's a bit weird and I don't like it because the monkey on your back is supposed to be an actual monkey on your back and this NPC talks about transforming it as if it's an item. Hey, just turn them into different monkeys, it's alright. Whereas the original version actually spoke to the king and he tells you you take away different monkeys on your back on adventures and stuff. Sounds a lot cooler. It's a lot more realistic, okay? Having your monkey transform is way less realistic than having different monkeys that are all real or supposed to be actual real monkeys. 
that's unrealistic. I don't like it. Although becoming a monkey with ninja swords and doing agility, that's completely fine. Happy with that. But the way they talk about the monkey on my back is if he's some item, I hate it. <laughs> and the introduction isn't the only thing they changed. The original idea proposed that you get the Karamja monkey 200 laps, zombie monkey 500, maniacal 1000, skill in 2000, crook junior 3000, and prince 5000 laps. Jagex changed that and made it Karamja monkey 100, zombie monkey 250, maniacal 500, skill in 1000, crook 1500 and the prince monkey 2000. Why does the skeleton monkey in this reddit suggestion look so weird? Look at <laughs> why is he so happy that he's dead? Anyway we've got 2000 laughs to do of this course before we can get our prince monkey. Let us speak to Captain Erdu and head to the monkey madness island ape atoll. I can't remember if I can do the agility course now that I have completed Mon Monkey Madness 2 without being a monkey. I brought the Gree Gree just in case. I actually forgot there was a bank here. I forgot that this place kind of opens up a little bit once you've completed Monkey Madness 2, but I don't know if you can do the agility course. Let's find out. Turns out, no you can't. Not even after Monkey Madness 2. Let's become a little ninja monkey and let's get rolling. So I'm actually at 90 agility right now, so I shouldn't hopefully be feeling this course whatsoever. And I've never actually done this course, at least not in my memory. Maybe I've done it once or twice, just exploring Ape Atoll when I completed Monkey Madness. But I don't think I've actually ever seriously done this agility course. So hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's not unenjoyable. I know some of the rooftop ones are pretty crap. Hopefully this one isn't the same. And this is one completion. This is one go of the course and I gotta do that 2,000 more times. Wow. But at least in those 2,000 laps I should get an agility level, hopefully two agility levels, that would be nice. And I guess there's nothing else to do but to, to grind this agility course out. Let's do it baby. And here we go, 100 laps. We've now unlocked this Karamja monkey. It's clipping through the hood, what the hell? And genuinely, seriously, the Karamja monkey is the one I wanted most because it's got a little red mohawk. It kind of looks like a little red party hat, so it goes with my character in a red party hat equipped, but come on, let's just do the 2000. Montage time. few laps away from finishing this Ape Atoll agility grind, but I'm a little bit sad. I'm a little bit sad. I've enjoyed doing this. Believe it or not, I've actually had an okay time doing this. I even got went to the point where I would like take my laptop when I'd leave or I'd do it on my phone. I was I was enjoying doing this. I don't actually mind doing agility, I think. I had fun doing this Ape Atoll agility course. God knows why. God knows why. I have no idea. But it's been a fun grind. I've had two agility levels. I only recently got 92 agility. I kind of wish there was more reason to do this. And this is it. The last, the last thing I have to do. There we go. We fly down this rope. Agility complete. Well, agility not complete. Still seven levels to go, but this certain agility grind done. Congratulations, 2000 laps. You can now transform your monkey into a prin princely monkey. That's beautiful. I've got the skeleton one currently enabled right now. Still clips through the hood even after like a week or two of this update being out. Let's put on there a woo woo woogie. A woo woo woogie monkey. Princely monkey they called it. Maybe they couldn't spell it. That's why they called it princely monkey. But there it is. He's got his own big badass crown. I don't have my red party hat. Opportunity missed. But it looks pretty cool. I like these variations in monkeys. We've got the princely monkey. We've got Kruk Jr. The ninja monkey. We've got the skeleton monkey. We've got the maniacal monkey. We've got the zombie monkey. We've got my personal favourite, the Karamja monkey with a little red, cheeky little red mohawk, looks badass. And we have the default monkey, one I'm never probably going to use again. Sorry default monkey, but you're gonna get made redundant, you're not gonna get much screen time. You've been overshadowed by your, by your predecessors. Wait, no, that's not the right word. Your successors, your after bears, your offspring, whatever you want to call it, they've replaced you. Goodbye, default monkey. 
You know, I wouldn't have been opposed to the 5,000 laps for the Prince Monkey grind because after you get full graceful, there's not much motivation to train agility. I'm 92 right now, but before I started the Apatol agility for the Prince Monkey, I was only 90. I got two levels doing this. Two levels I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. If the Prince Monkey was 5,000 laps still instead of 2,000, I would have probably gotten another two agility levels to 94. But now that I've got no real immediate reason to train agility, it's probably going to stay at 92 for a very, very long time. But the Apatol Agility course has pretty decent XP rates actually. This little stepping stone gives you 40, climbing up this tree gives you 40, doing the monkey bars gives you 40, doing the skull slope, wait, skull slope? I thought those were stones. That's kind of creepy. It gives me 60 XP, the rope swing gives you 100, and climbing the vine down gives you another 100. But you get a course completion bonus of 200 XP which is 580 total XP for the entire course and it's very short. According to the wiki at max efficiently after level 75 agility you can complete up to 95 laps per hour and it's 63 game ticks per lap resulting in roughly 56,000 agility XP per hour. At lower agility levels when you're still feeling the course a bunch it's between 40 and 45k XP per hour. Now I'm not a very efficient player I'm an AFK player so 95 laps per hour? Hell no, I was doing like 60 laps per hour, if that. <laughs> also, be aware, you can do this agility course after completing Monkey Madness, the first one, but it doesn't start tracking your laps and giving you access to different monkeys until after you've completed Monkey Madness 2, so there's not much point in doing this agility course unless you've completed Monkey Madness 2. And here are some bonus fa- oh wait, no, actually, I can't, I shouldn't use that, that's for the 9 fives. Here's some, uh, trivia tips. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound the same. Here's some trivia tips, screw it. Upon release, the Apatola Agility course gave the fastest XP from 70 to 99 on release, it came out in 2006. So in 2006, this was the best way to get 99 99 agility after level 70 agility. But then the release of the Dorgesh Khan agility course, the Goblin agility course, overtook it for the fastest way to get 99 back then. But the Apatol agility course still has a place in today's method or meta method of getting 99 agility. If you want to get 99 agility as quick as possible, according to the wiki, the best way to do it is to do the gnome agility until level 10, then do rooftops until level 48 or 52. Then you do a patrol agility course until level 60. Going from level 50 or so agility to level 60, the Apatol agility course, you get around 30 to 35k XP per hour according to the wiki, but with stamina pots that can be increased to 45 to 50k XP per hour. The only downside is that obviously you're not going to get marks of grace, but there's still a place for it in today's world, even without having to do it for the monkey backpack variations, although that's the only reason I've done it, and will be the only reason people do it realistically from now on. And I guess that's it for this video. It's a bit of a weird one, a bit of a wild one, didn't really know what to expect out of this, but I'm pretty content with it. So if you enjoyed it, please, please let me know. I'm not just saying this just to get likes or whatever. I'm genuinely saying if you did actually enjoy this video and maybe I should make more of these random videos that come out of nowhere, let me know because I will be happy to do them. And other than that, I stream on Twitch Tuesday, Thursday is RuneScape Day from 2 p.m. onwards, UK time obviously because I'm in the UK. Not a very good time for North America unfortunately, but it's the only times I can do right now. Big shout out to all the channel members. Thank you very much everyone who's clicked that join button and became a channel member for 99 cents. After the last video, a bunch of you guys became members, which is absolutely incredible. It's genuinely awesome and I really really appreciate it everyone and special thanks to Nemo M, Luke, Tamashi, Jake, Granley, Scarmex and Vicken for being tier 2 supporters. I really really appreciate it everyone. Thank you very much. If you're interested, click the join button, you get a cool badge and some other stuff.